Hello students, welcome to our Google Classroom orientation. Today, I will help you navigate your Google Classroom, so let's get started. Open first your browser, then type classroom.google.com. Since the school has given you your GBBC account or email address, you will click Add Account to sign in your given email. Example, your name at gbbc.edu.ph. You cannot use your mother or father's email address in signing in to Google Classroom. You can only use the email address provided by GBBC. The first time you arrived at the Google Classroom website, you will see a screen like this. Do you see the plus button on the top right portion of your screen? If you're using your smartphone, you will see the plus button below your screen. Once you click the join class, you will see something like this on your screen. Do you see the class code portion? Your teacher will give you the class code so that you can enter your specific class. All subjects have different class codes, so please ask the code from your teachers. If you have eight subjects, you will also need to enter eight different codes. If you have joined in one of your classes and you want to join in another class for another subject, just click the arrow at the top left portion to go back. Repeat the process when joining another class. If you have successfully joined in all of your subject classes, therefore, you should also see eight different folders in your Google Classroom homepage. Now, let's try to see what's inside each class. We will try to enter one subject class. In opening your Google Classroom, you will see three important components the stream the classwork and the people what you see right now is already the stream in the stream you see the name of the folder your specific subject grade level and section as you can see the stream looks like a facebook news feed you will see all the activities, announcements, and information posted and given by your teacher. Here's the exciting part. You can also post, reply, or add comments in this portion. On the left side near the comments section, you will see upcoming deadlines and events or to-do list. This is your guide to be aware of the upcoming activities that you need to do and accomplish. Once you're done answering all your activities, the upcoming section or to-do list will be emptied and will show no work due soon. The classwork tab shows you all the lessons, reading activities, exercises, quizzes, videos, and assignments prepared by your teachers. Since our activities are arranged in a weekly basis, you will see all the topics weekly. Under each topic, you will see the listed items attached with emojis or icons. Later, you will know the function of each icon. When you answer a certain activity, just click the item and follow the instruction. Do not forget to click Submit and or Turned In when you're done answering. Finally, we have the People component. This shows who your teacher is and all your online classmates. Aside from the three main components of the Google Classroom, you also need to be familiar with the type of materials your teacher will be posting. You need to pay attention to the icons or emojis placed before the title of the material being posted. Here are the icons. An icon like this indicates that the material posted is a video. It is either a discussion of the topic for the week, a complimentary video, 
or something to be watched to complete an activity or test. Next is a joystick. If the icon is a joystick, the material is a game you need to access, a game which would help you master a skill or a learning competency for that week. Next is a three musical note icon. This icon means your teacher has posted a song to sing along and learn. Next is an open book. An open book means your teacher has posted a story which you need to read. Another is a close blue book icon. A close blue book means your teacher has posted a material that has something to do with values integration and character emphasis, which you need to learn for the week. Then, an exclamation point. It means the activity, quiz, or assignment posted is graded. Therefore, you should not miss it. Next is a push pin. It means your teacher has posted an activity that is not graded. However, you need to do it to master a skill before having a graded task. Then, a pen. It means your teacher has posted an essay activity. You need to compose at least a paragraph for the posted question, but it depends on the restrictions and limitations given by your teacher. A bookmark. It means your teacher has posted the pointers for an upcoming assessment or examination. And lastly is a bell. A bell means your teacher has posted an important announcement. Therefore, you should not miss it. So those are the important icons and emojis you need to be familiar with as we have our virtual class using Google Classroom. Remember, if there are things which you find difficult or confusing, do not hesitate to contact or message your teacher. May you have a wonderful experience this school year in exploring your virtual classroom. That's all for now. God bless.